Welcome everyone to another episode of Stories from Unbound Shores. Where we last left off, the party was able to save a young is it brass or bronze? Brass. There's brass. Young brass dragon. Uh, from the clutches of a uh, Bahir that seemed to be a bit tougher than your average uh, Bahir. Tougher Although it's fucking faster. It's not faster. It's actually the same speed. Uh, no, it's uh, it's about six times faster because regular Bahir doesn't have legendary actions that it can spend on movement. Well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, at any rate. At the end of the last session, it had been slain as it was uh, making a mad dash back for its uh, for the hole that it came crawling out of, uh, but was struck down by an arrow from Al uh, as it reached the edge. Yeah. I did a thing. It was impressive. That said, we may pick up um, where I left off. Did I not fucking take spells last time? I don't know. That would in fact be an issue if you did not. Why do you question it? I'm looking at my spells in a program that I use that I feel is easier than D&D Beyond for spell picking and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't see differences from my character sheet that and I, I apparently didn't actually level it up there at 8th level. So this is interesting, but anyway, sorry, we don't we don't need to worry about that. Carry on, carry on. <coughs> you use the manage spells tab on D and D Beyond because that's pretty <coughs> easy. <sighs> but it doesn't tell me how many I can have. Yes, it does. Oh well, no, it doesn't because you're a wizard and you're not limited. Exactly. You're you get two per level. I know. But I had more from beginning. I bought you get a couple. Six at more. first level, and you get two <laughs> per level after that. But now you did buy some that does throw it off. Exactly. But anyway, like I said, it doesn't matter. We can c carry on, carry on. Uh, uh, dragon's gonna come land over here. Oh, oh my! Oh, so you know, is... not not hanging out with the cleric <laughs> that fucking revived him. I mean, he was right next to me, and I did also teleport him out to be healed by the cleric. <laughs> I'm special too. You're a taxi. I'm a doctor. Wow. Yeah. So I don't need any of my spells anymore. I can't That's kill. What you dramatic. can bet your ass I still have lesser foresight up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking yeah. of, I guess maybe I should start a timer. Perhaps. How long does it does it last? A minute? Yeah. You I think have like thirty seconds left. The combat lasted like five turns. Which is thirty seconds. Yeah, that's, that's exactly true. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking two minutes. You said one minute, and my brain went two minutes. Uh. Yes, it is. It is okay. Well, I have thirty seconds. Okay, then. Do you? Are you going to keep your spirit guardians up, or? I was just about to ask a question for Tristan. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm aware that the thing is dead because I didn't have a line of sight to it, and it was really far oh, away. Okay. That's true. No one has actually said it's dead yet. <laughs> you saw the dragon land, though. Oh, sure as shit hasn't. 
Yeah, the dragon's been really surprisingly participative uh, lately, so I'm not really calling that a indicator that this is over. <laughs> um, I suppose Al would probably holler to those who aren't exactly aware. Um, quest. Jen, did we know it was a be here? Did anybody clarify by saying so, or you would I just know? You definitely heard Roland, Roland tell you that it was a be here multiple times. Okay. Well before um, we saw it, he said it was a be here. Because we been told about it. The be here is dead. Um, you're welcome. I think. Not exactly sure. We are 40 feet apart through trees. I'm just looking at this dragon that just landed in front of me. How do you want to do this, DM? There's people all over the place. Uh, what is everyone's passive perception? Pass 16. Seventeen. Nine. Eighteen. Alrighty. Well, Belisari and Dragon both could have seen it from where they were standing. And Al's the one that was able to land the shot. And your past perception was close enough to hear Al. However, Mr. Barbarian over here did not have line of sight and is too imperceptive to actually know what just happened. So... <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Uh, Aurelion, what would you like to be doing, assuming the creature's still alive? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Uh, what did what was the last thing? Was I following it? Yes, they were charging toward it as it was running away, and it was running away at uh, speeds five hundred feet a turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to chase that thing down. Alright. So just, like, dash after it? Yeah. And it was around here, so yeah, by the time he gets there, you'll be able to see the corpse. Let me put the token back in so I can just show where its body is. You get very nearly up to it with a dash. Mr. 40 base move speed. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> so I just did the math for funsies, and assuming I did the math right, that bitch is moving at 57 miles an hour. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> uh, Over uneven terrain with trees. It wasn't actually moving 500 feet a turn. It was moving closer to 100. Oh. It's not as fun like that. <laughs> 50 and 50 on a dash, plus 50, plus 50, plus 50, plus 50. Oh, that's, 300, wanted... that's 300 feet a turn. Well, it's not a turn. It would be a round, but also it's well, not what it was doing. Uh, I mean, it did do it twice, so yeah. At any rate, so Barbarian is running toward the now dead Bahir. Yep. And is standing next to the now dead Bahir, or not uh, next to you, but... Yeah. I got him as far as he could, so he runs past you and is within 15 <laughs> feet of the, within 10 feet, actually, of the dead Bahir. So that's what you see, Thomas, is a uh, dead Bahir drooped oh. over the uh, edge of the hole. Yep. It's having kind of like laying in the hole, but most of its body is still on the surface, so it's not falling in just yet, at least. Do you see anyone else? Uh, you'd see Melisari and the dragon. Um, I'm gonna call that six seconds then, since we kind of treated that almost as a round. 
dragon lands, Al says a thing, Aurelian runs up. I haven't Does gotten to do happen? anything. What? I haven't what gotten to like do to anything. Do? <laughs> I'm just thinking for terms in terms of like my spell. Because yeah. I want to be able to kind of track reasonably well when it actually runs out. Yeah, but I haven't gotten to declare any actions, so I would wait until that, and otherwise we haven't really oh, hit the end yes. of that round yet. So, well, what would you like to do, then, Tristan? Well, I mean, I have heard Al say that the creature is dead. Of course, I have no line of sight, and the only thing I have seen is that the dragon isn't flying above the trees anymore, so I'm going to continue approaching with my spirit guardians. I, I, th I think the keep the weapon active, but it's going to be very slow. <sighs> Why is it acting like that? 5, 10, 15, 30. Where is Al? Oh, great right question, actually. That's about All right. where I should be. So, uh, Al, please make a wisdom saving throw. What? Because Tristan's walking right through you. Oh, that's... Uh, God damn it. I can't tell where she is. No. No, you can. Did I walk right through her? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you did. I just dropped my dice. I walked but in, are in you? a straight line, so she's more than 15 feet oh. off from me. You started One, two, three. here. Yeah, she'd be just outside of it. You said wisdom saving throw, right? So, well, if it was so, if you walked in a straight line, which and you ended up here, then that would be uh, fifteen feet out. All right, whatever. In the middle. Not my <laughs> HP. Wisdom save, you said? I mean, you can uh, you yes. can see her, though, can you not? <laughs> that is the you question. Didn't, Al didn't hide um, at the last round, did you? Correct, so you could have seen her. did not. So you could have um, seen her before she got in uh, range. Okay, so I could have still avoided her and ended up on the square I'm on. That's Fair enough. Knowledge. Alright, uh... So, if I do end up taking the damage, nope, that is my. Good. Okay. I was gonna say, that is my second uh, crit fail in god knows how long. Alright. And I'll move the weapon as you'd like. I think one of those might be out of place. No? Yeah. I think they're okay. Yep, they're good. That's as far as I can make another Now you can say six seconds on your spell. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I had turned to look at the dragon when it landed, and then as Aurelian blew by, I turned around like, what the fuck? Just imagine he makes airplane noises. <laughs> and I guess I'll say to him, Aurelian, it's dead. How close are we? Uh, like right next to it. You're like 20 oh. feet apart. Oh, yeah. Like, I skid to a halt and just like, oh, I see that now. Are you not raging anymore? No. 
I don't think I didn't attack last turn. Oh, okay. well, are you going to lose consciousness? <laughs> As I had said, from due to the effects of your late. Oh, that's time, right, yes. Uh, that race is going to be going until either you end it or time runs out. So, you're still raging if you want to be, but you can suppress it if you don't want to be. Yeah, I think when I see that it's dead, it kind of dies out. All right. Good thing you passed that save. <laughs> yeah, this would be very, very different right now. It's awkward. And I'm the one standing right next to the dragon. Your rage ends, you have no issues with that, but you do still feel this... something kind of spurring you to anger, but you have it under control. question. Yep. Can I get closer? Please? Sure. Cool. I'm going to dash and if I am able to also if if I need to, I will shadow step to get closer to Melisari and the dragon. You don't need to, but what helped you get past the spirit guardians? Yes, please. <laughs> With your hundred or so feet of movement, you can place yourself anywhere in that bubble you'd like to be. Anywhere in this bubble? Oh, that's exciting. Well, anywhere <laughs> on the ground in that bubble. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! I'm joking. Um. Oh, I am measuring from slightly the wrong point. I... There we go. Where's my token? I can't see it. Oh, I'm stupid. Now I see it. I think? Yeah! Cool. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try... getting... Ugh. Alright. I wanted to be next to Mel, sorry if I could. But... I mean, you could be. You would just have to go to the other side of me. Yeah. I mean, she technically is next to you, just next to you yeah. diagonally. Ah. There. <laughs> that works. Or that, or that, or that. I just prefer you to be on a square. Yes. Oh. I didn't realize I wasn't. Okay, cool. All right, uh, Tristan, do you keep moving forward? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Everybody except Al is. This is true. <laughs> this means twelve before I show up from the time thing. You're just walking up to us? I think so. Because okay. at 30, I'm just, uh, Al's just outside the barrier. Oh. Did you run last time, though? I, I did. I ran last time, so I made it okay. here in 12 seconds. Gotcha. I, 
didn't know how far away anything was. Oh, my sword is slowly making its way here. I don't think you moved it last turn, if you want to move it one more time. No, I did move it last turn. I just okay. did it on the sly. That's wrong button. That's why I'm having problems. So that's the sword is great against enemies that don't move quite so much. Yeah, or more in more enclosed spaces. I mean, I was thinking I might block it with a guardian of faith at some point, but uh, it got away way too fast for that to happen. Any event. So I catch up and see the body and the dragon and the all of you. <laughs> hey. I'm looking around, like not really making eye contact at this point, still like checking through. Is the threat past then? Yes. I'm just looking at the dragon. Ms. Medesai. Yes. We are no longer in need of caution. No longer in need of what? Caution. I don't know that I would say that. I can maintain the spirit guardians for a few seconds. She's kind of just looking at you like, um, okay, do as you wish. But she is turning back to look at this dragon that is standing next to her. Well, it's not so much standing as, like, once it landed, it's it's kind of, like, laying down. It's it's not in great shape. Yes, oh, well, I had also going to be do, go, been going to do something about that during combat. Um. Because I was kind of half expecting when it landed next to me that it was going to say something, and then... Uh, it's thinking about it, but currently it's exhausted. That is that is fair. I'm going to dismiss the spirit guardians so that I can actually walk up. Alright. Is anyone hurt? Bloodied or lower? <laughs> nope. How's a smidge hurt? Bloodied or lower? No. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> My brain like, didn't. Like. I assume you're asking for like obvious signs of hurt. Mm-hmm. As opposed to just asking us. Yes. But yeah. I didn't do it in my weird accent. Indeed. Aurelion? Hurt? Bloodied? Lower? Uh, mm, not. No, no, dog. not bloodied. Dog bloodied lower. <clears throat> dog is not bloodied. Okay, and I'm just going to. Just he's gonna do a quick right. turn around, verify that everybody's not like bloodied, and then he's going to whisper a quick prayer in undercommon. Uh, and uh, you're going to see uh the the uh. Dragon? Well, yes, but I was thinking about the spirit guardians condense into a uh, a light fog and uh, pass over the dragon. And the dragon can have up to 40 more hit points uh, until it hits its bloodied value. Alright. Mm -hmm. So he takes uh, 35 of those. Okay. No, not 235. Just... Sure. <laughs> so it is no longer bloodied. Yep. Now directly at half. Yeah. And it seems uh, much better for it. And it says, Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> You a lot of have mag magnificent timing. Ah, oh, so magnificent. We were concerned that the Bihia was trying to trick us into its lair. But we did not follow and intercede quite as quickly as we may otherwise have done. 
out to self. Consider screaming in something other than draconic. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Malasari chuckles slightly, but then, like, immediately kind of does a, a wobble, like, whoa. Yeah, Elle wouldn't put her arms out to try and catch Malasari if she topples. That's your spell ending. Yeah, that's my spell yeah. ending. She kind of just puts a, a... She's still standing, she kind of just puts a head, a hand to her forehead, like, oh, wow. Yeah, your your head's going to be, like, pounding at this yeah. point. <laughs> Al raises an eyebrow with you. Good? Yeah, I, um, I tried out a new spell I'd been working on, and, um, the after effects are, are quite something. And she's kind of, like, squinting at you. <laughs> like, she's got this pounding headache. Well, I mean, she does. But that, that's, you know what it looks like. Anyway. <laughs> Forgive the impertinence, Mr. Dragon. Uh, we were happy to have been able to help you, of course. Um, maybe you can enlighten us as to how this came to happen. I'm not uh, aware that uh, Behir can die or snare flying prey. Perhaps you have a name. Uh, I am bad with draconic names. However, Tristan, you're fantastic with them if you'd like to donate one to the cause. Oh, okay. <laughs> give me a few minutes to talk and I will give a few moments thought to a brass dragon name. Ah. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, you know, he'll introduce himself with the, the name yet to be determined. Uh, Eric. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. I... Well, I had been under the impression that there were some unique, interesting creatures out here. And, well, there were some valuables I'd also heard of. So I thought I'd try and kill two birds with one stone. See if I could find something useful and get some interesting stories out of the mix. I don't expect that the eyes it like with the biggest stink eye to be so painful and well uncivilized. Wait, sorry, what did what did he say? Who had attempted to communicate Peaceably with this creature, and then it attacked you. Yes. <sighs> ah. Wild. There was some conversation up front, but ultimately, uh, I get attacked. It can talk? Yes. Well, it could talk. Not now. Also, yes. I hope. Melisari gives a weak chuckle. <sighs> I had heard there were some uh, gin and other elementals out this direction and I was hoping to speak with one not often you come across one at least not uh, anything other than fire out in the desert is there a desert near here nope not remember. on this continent hang on a second I don't remember what the desert name is, but I'm aware of it. I want to ask it. I don't recall what the name of the desert is either. It might just be the desert. I'll open up the map. 
Do that thing explorers do where they name something after the local name for what it is. Yeah, well. Like, I think, doesn't Sahara mean desert? Yes. Sahara desert, desert. Is... Yeah. So you end up with, like, these tautologies. Desert, desert, desert. Hill, 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 hill. I know that one. You told us that one. Yeah. Torpenhow. Uh, I don't see, like, a, a region name, just Dusk Bay, I assume. Yeah, for, the, for the city. Yeah. I, I sent a couple thoughts on names to you, Derek, so that you'd have choices. Alright. So I guess she's just gonna say, um, you're from the desert. It's an awful long way from home. Uh, I like that first name, but if you want to pronounce it once for me, just to make sure I'm gonna... When I wrote it there. out, I was thinking Hasserin. Hasserin. Yeah. We'll go with that. <clears throat> so he would have introduced himself to you as Hasserin. Uh, yes, I'm from the Death Hurts. It's most suitable to me, uh, but every once in a while, you know, travel, see where I can be found, but, uh, oh, gosh, that hurt. Hey, I can provide further heating, appreciate it, but uh, that was all of the free stuff I get. I... I think I'll be fine, so long as I don't go wandering around to the ground like an idiot again. Or perhaps trying to have conversations with wild animals. Uh, it's not that wild, but uh, I was a dick. <laughs> I'm surprised if you even had a few words exchanged. They are intelligent enough to speak. But they are still um, apex ambush predators. They feel that uh, they had nothing to say to you. Just eat you. Yes. I was hoping to work out some sort of trade, but evidently the most valuable thing uh, I had that it was interested in was my scales. And, well, he yeah, was interested in more than I can part with easily I do not blame you Trade, what did it have that you wanted? Uh. <clears throat> there was uh, an object down there that would make a cloud of darkness in a small area. And it's not that useful to many, I expect, but some occasional shade in the desert wouldn't be remiss. I would <laughs> raise an eyebrow. I don't usually think that uh, it's a good idea to kill someone and take their things, but since he did, uh, this creature did attempt to Take your life, uh, he has lost his own, and so perhaps no longer has need of those things. Indeed. Uh, but I'm not going down there by myself, at least not right now. Do you suspect that he has a clutch? Well, she. Uh, I don't know if there's still. Uh, a mate in the picture, but I did see eggs. Well, that I'm going to turn to our resident Boys. the here expert and ask <laughs> do the males tend to stay with their family unit? It's an excellent question. It's a bug, so me as a player suspects not, but I shall let my nature roll tell me. Do I have advantage on that? Um, yes, due to your history. Okay. 
uh, from the book, you would uh, have a reasonable ability to know the house of these things. Okay, that might actually be pretty good. Let's see here. If you need a hand securing this item, I could be of assistance. Well, sorry, he's kind of raising an eyebrow. Uh, I got a 15 on nature. 15. Alright, then you're not certain, but you're fairly sure that uh, they don't, uh, like they do kind of split. It's not like a mating for life kind of thing. And I do not believe that in normal circumstances, a normal uh, male Bahia has any reason to hang out with the eggs. Uh, this is, um, say, kind of gesturing at the humongous corpse, a rather unusual set of circumstances. Uh, still, if any of these eggs has hatched, I imagine that uh, they would be uh, very dangerous, even as um, people have uh, young. I think of them as bugs because of the centipede, but they're not. Yeah, <laughs> they're lizards. <laughs> Yeah, it's the it's the it's the uh, fucking yeah. uh, mini throw me off. Yeah, yeah. I had to remind myself like five times in this conversation too. Is <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. young lizard? Lightning lizard. Lightning lizard. Um, so I think that if our plan is to help this um, Asserin uh, acquire his uh, magic item, uh, that we should exercise extreme caution once we go below the ground. I would imagine so, uh, the, the one asked. Uh, we should probably not have anything to worry about from Drow, uh, as they would be avoiding any part of the Underdark that has been inhabited by such a creature. Speaking of Underdark, did, did Eskel ever say anything in Undercommon? Yes. Although I don't Am know I if he did it while you were there, I'm trying to remember. I don't... I, I don't know think he, he did. did while Malasari was in the party. I know he did you know, when talking to the drow. Yeah. There were a couple times talking to drow before Malasari joined that he used Undercommon. This is true. I might have used Undercommon when first addressing these drow, like Roland and yeah. his group. True, but I'm not sure. I think so that I think that now. I think that he had a little bit of conversation with them. To put them at ease before, like, they were exposed to the whole group. Yeah. Or as a side note, just to explain some things past their difficulties with Common. Okay. It was just a matter of curiosity. <laughs> when I did under Common for Eskel, I did not use a French accent or whatever this is. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was just curious. Uh. As a general. If I'd heard under common. Mm. I think I think the answer accurately is probably a little, because I think he did speak to these drow in their own tongue a little bit. But not much. Alright. Uh I had something and I just lost it. Uh something about Hasserin and getting his item back. Oh no. Talk about the young Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, there was one other thing that I was kind of being on whether or not your nature check was revealed or not. Right. I found it. Yes. Uh, you know that as part of, like, the nesting process, the uh, you know, female behemoths will search out uh, large sources of metal as it helps to uh, help the eggs to hatch as they kind of arc. Mm -hmm. Probably whatever is down there, it is near a vein of uh, unrefined metal, uh, like iron or silver in the ground. Oh, sorry, nods thoughtfully. But, a um, thought seems to occur to her that she is not saying out loud. <laughs> he 
just sort of arches an eyebrow at this and, and finishes simply saying, As long as the young have not attached, this should not be a problem. Well, should we? And I guess she's kind of a, a company or um, addressing the group at large. Should we assist Hasserin in if... finding this item? <laughs> I... Perhaps what else is in there? I suppose my question to Hasserin would uh, simply be uh, I understand that this. Uh, is useful uh, to have this uh, magical darkness to shade oneself in the desert, but is it uh, worth the risk, especially to put our very much smaller lives at risk? I cannot say for certain, but I know that there are other things down there, and if you're willing to help me, well, get down there, I would uh, assist in carrying up uh, anything within reason that you want from down there. You are certain that you wish to travel down there with us and not simply wait in case we were to accept this uh, desk? Uh, could you repeat that one more time? <laughs> you are certain <laughs> that you wish to travel <laughs> underground and not wait up here? Uh, I do want to point out we are also on a bit of a time crunch. Are you worried about the sun rising? No. Don't don't we have a couple like extra days? I how, how don't... long? I know we had at least a little bit of wiggle room. How much wiggle room did we still have? Um if you didn't get anything that will increase your travel pace, like uh, getting wind walk from Ira or something like that. Your wiggle room was like a few hours. Right, but we do plan Makes to get a wind walk from Ira. Makes me extremely uncomfortable. Ira. Yeah, it's very unlikely that we would not be getting wind walk from Ira, and if we get it from Ira, then we've got days extra. Yeah, that can that can shave off up to four days. Yeah. Out of the five days that you would take to get there. Plus, we weren't going terribly far out of our way to try and avoid this, and now that we're involved, it has only taken us like 10 or 15 minutes so far. But it's not like we've wasted hours and hours here. I mean, the sun hasn't even fully risen yet. You've still got the ability to teleport. I'm sorry, shadow step. <laughs> I... I... In character, it is Al being paranoid. Out of character, it is also Ari being par paranoid as hell, so... We have, not, we have not at this time lost much time to this endeavor. And if this creature was heading for this hole to get back to its lair, it is likely not too distant from this entrance. I think that we can tolerate even a few hours of work on this, if that is what we want to do. But there is an inherent risk involved, and uh, I would remind people that we are doing this in order to aid Hasren, and he has given us the opportunity to also profit. Question, are you still moving your spectral sword? I, it's probably almost here, right? <laughs> <laughs> it could be here by now, but I won't be able to be there for very long. I think no. it will last for a minute <laughs> overall, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it like got there. It's like, I'm here, and then poofed. <laughs> oh, would I... And... Oh, look who finally just... arrived. <laughs> like, I see it like flying towards you, and then it just kind of stops flying, skids on the ground, bumps your boot, and disappears. <laughs> most disappointing, disappointing performance. Oh, would <laughs> sigh. If you guys believe that we are not going to be consuming a huge chunk of time, alright, I I believe I am just probably overthinking and probably a little bit scared. To be a bit vulnerable. I also However, don't. However, 
However. I will... I will trust whatever you all decide to be the most accurate and what we should do. I will follow your lead, essentially. I don't think Roland has any reason to be aware that, um... Isla's... Right? Ira. Ira's, uh... Ability to be in this world is limited in any way. <laughs> I don't think anyone's mentioned that to him. I mean... I've got the ring to have her show up if you need be. I don't really want to use that, but... I think she said she would tolerate using it for this kind of a thing once or twice, or... or just not on the reg. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially what she did say. But I think she probably won't be there when we get there, because I think she went back to the Plane of Air with uh, Amara. Oh, yes. She did also say something, um, just in terms of, um... Fuck, what was I gonna say? Just in terms of, like, what, what she's willing to be called for, she did also say that she'd be willing to, like, extend her... <laughs> the amount of favor she's willing to provide if we took that time... took some of that time learning, um... Foreign? What? The, her language? Yes. So, Orin. Oh, that's a specific air dialect, isn't it? Uh, that is the language of air. Primordial is the root language. Primordial, that's the word I'm looking for, sorry. I mean, for her specifically, Orin's more useful. Yeah. <laughs> Like, as a speaker of Primordial, you can understand somebody speaking Auron, but that's like being a a, 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 a a Quebecois speaker and understanding someone using Parisian French. Yeah. That's, that's or I assume government. American English to British, British English, English to Australian English. 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 <laughs> English. <laughs> anyway. Um, at any rate, so Nellis, Nellisari's not horrifically, horrifically concerned. Also, because she's very curious and and kind of wants to see these eggs, and potentially, if Al realizes are these that Nellis, if Al realizes that Nellisari isn't too concerned with time, I. She'd relax a little bit. I mean, keen mind means I'm a pretty decent timekeeper, I would say. But I'm also not necessarily taking into consideration the fact that she might not be there. But, you know, like I said, she, she doesn't seem concerned. <laughs> I she guess. Wanna, you know, be, be I up front. I guess Al would probably mention, you know, the chance of Ira being gone when we get there is also very likely, right? I understand you have the ring, but to avoid bothering her, don't you think that maybe... We should probably also take into consideration that. The fact that she might not be there. I suppose that is a consideration. If... if hey. I, I will repeat. If you are not concerned with being crunched for time, then... So be it. I will I will gladly follow the lead of others, but just something to consider. Um. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask. Um. Okay. Just a moment. <laughs> yes. Because 
We've got no input from Thomas here because we haven't really found out what happened with him when he ended his rage. I was about to come up, come back over. Okay. But you were in the middle of a conversation. Exactly. I wanted to make sure you had a chance to do this. So you come back over. You how do you look? Tired. A little bit tired. I'm just going to sit. Okay. But the, the sheath, the rapier. Come back over and sit. So, a magic item of some sort. Looking to Miss Melisari, nodding. Roland would say, Yes. Bagan wants to try to recover this uh, magic item he had. But does not want to go alone. Recover. Take Our possession alive. of. Take possession okay. of. Okay. And I kind of lean in conspiratorially and do. Do we think it might have more? The dragon has suggested it might have more, and is willing to help us bring back a reasonable amount of whatever treasure is there. I don't oppose this. Um... Okay. Hang on, I was gonna ask a question Beware. of the dragon. And sorry, Which... I just wanted to make sure we hit Thomas before then. Yeah, 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 no, it's fine. Um, it's going to be on top of that. Anyway. <coughs> sorry. Um, so you came out of the tunnel. Obviously, I saw you come out of the tunnel. And... In which direction did it go, and do you know how long this tunnel was, and whether there was another entrance? There was definitely another entrance, because I made that tunnel. Oh. I kind of lost track of which direction was the fastest way out, so I just kind of started digging up. Does that mean it's somewhat labyrinthine in there um somewhat yes but if we go down this hole it's should be just a straight slope uh down to its lair what rough general direction uh or i guess down to the <laughs> west <laughs> yeah <laughs> just goes down Melisar gives you a look. <laughs> I think you can imagine what this look looks like. A general. Or she just, it's kind of over her shoulder because I guess she's more facing the dragon, but <laughs> she gives you a look. Anyway, so kind of westish. Yeah. DM, if we were to follow this path, would it take us further out of our way? significantly uh, but it kind of be uh, along the way almost they are so serious. it's not super out of your way but it's not the direction you want to go either like you're trying to go north okay. and a tad west so this would be mostly west well all west hmm Sounds like uh, we all agree that uh, heading down there to try and help our friend, our new friend Hassan, and perhaps profit ourselves is agreeable to everyone. Alpha mod. That's, that's, that's doable. I am particularly good at navigating caves. Expedition. Melisari will nod to herself and then kind of gesture toward the hole. Alvin. Alright. Let's do this thing. <laughs> oh my. 
Uh, there's not an actual path. This part's just gonna be theater of the mind. <laughs> you just scared Whee! the living hell out of me. <laughs> Hop. <laughs> and so... Fuck. Why are you dragging the sword with us? I because nobody poofed it for me, so I'm still just moving it around. <laughs> oh, I thought you could poof it yourself. Sorry. I can't. I can turn it into a torch, though. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's one way to do things. So, uh, you guys get going, and it's a it's a somewhat steep slope. But it's not not too bad, and with it not being like you know perfectly smooth, that this was dog, not like. Blasted with a laser. <laughs> Why would uh, you use that as an example? <laughs> yeah, does the, does the lizard shoot lasers out of its brain? No, no it's just a nice why. I, know, I do know why. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're able to, to make your way down until you're uh, faced with what's kind of a drop with a hole, uh, but you'll be able to see, at the very least, a pillar below you. And you'll be able to maybe jump to, but could definitely get down to with a rope. I, yeah, I just had that thought. Do we have a climbing kit? I do. Okay. Because I was going to say, I think the one that we were using was Dirk's. I'm like 99% certain that is accurate. But... I'm going to go load up the lair map. Lara Mendes? What? Yeah, I have pitons. I have... Um... I also have rope. So. Okay. Uh, which one of these is right? Ooh. Oh Ooh, shit, sh I'm lost. Oops. Whoa! I'm very lost. How do I find myself? Oh, wait, wait. I feel that. So, I'll add your guys' tokens to the board once you tell me how it is you guys are getting in. Um, Whoa. you have to tell us how we're getting in. Mm. Where, where are we dropping in? Well, you'd be above this central pillar. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of off to the <laughs> side a little, but a rope, or just simply jumping, would let you get down, but of course she'd need a rope to get back out. Uh, how far is that fall? Uh, I'd say about 10 to 15 feet. Oh, that's not bad at all. No. That's not... I thought it was way worse. Awful. I mean... I would prefer rope. Yeah. It's not like a perfect but... dome. It kind of dips near the center, which is why it's uh, why it's not as big of a drop as it could be. And this was, this was after a little bit of a tunnel, right? We went down the yep. tunnel, and then it drops off. Yep, where he kind of jutted out into the stone okay. and started digging. Then I would... Very vocalize being more comfortable with the rope. I would uh, pull the length of rope and um, okay. start digging a, a trench and burying one end of it. And then um, toss uh, toss the end over the edge, and say, uh, "Al, you are able to relocate yourself. Why do not you go down to the pillar and secure this rope there?" Is he addressing somebody specific? I said, yes, "Al." <laughs> oh, I did not hear my name at all. <laughs> uh. We're doing yeah, great with this accent. Alright. Uh, mm. so, I will go ahead and do that. What did no, I say about my accent? <laughs> <laughs> I said Melisari nothing. I, I said things, but anyway. Oh. Uh, Melisari would be casting uh, Detect Magic as we start walking, by the way. Alright. Now, I believe that if I create a long enough trench... Uh, I can pack the earth back down over the end of the rope, and it should be able to hold significant weight, at least a person. Uh, Just that's due to drag. 
It's certainly possible. Uh, there is some dirt. Parts of it are still, like, mostly stone. That's stone, huh? Uh, What's he doing Is here? there, like, a, a stalagmite or rock or something we can anchor it to up there? Yeah. Yeah, Rather and trying to I also that. offered some uh, pitons that could use, like, hammer the rock and secure it like that, too. Oh, wow. Uh -huh, my pitons aren't useless. <laughs> pitons. Is it like piton or piton? Better. I was it gonna say. It French. It's however you want to say it. In English, it's okay. Piton. I say Python, but the French is <laughs> piton. <laughs> no. Yeah, Python. Piton. Python. Yeah. So for everyone else, it's piton. Piton, piton, and Python. <laughs> Thanks. I it's hate It's interesting this. how how they come up quite often in the game. Yeah, uh, too often. <laughs> Dumb sounding word in every language. <laughs> I guess Al would probably toss a piton up to uh, Roland if he were to, wanted to secure it that way. But, this will do. I should put in the piton here. How long did it take us to get down this way? Uh, like less than a minute because I mean this was a tunnel that thing was digging for its life it can't be long in other words be dead mm -hmm. fair enough that's disappointing um secure the rope around that just because I now still have nine minutes of uh casting detect magic ah, 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 ah. and when I tie the other end of the rope around another piton and Throw it to Al after she has relocated herself onto the pillar. Yeah. Give me right. one sec. Let me see if I can do this thing. I don't remember where you said we were at all. Uh, you're on the central pillar. You're the oh. one, one token on the board. Oh. Okay. Uh, secure that in the, the around the middle, whatever, so that he's hanging down the pillar so he can get to the ground. Sounds good. So I would have to jump off this thing and secure it to the bottom. Uh, yes. Well, jump or shadow step if you're not I, looking to break your leg. I don't want to break my leg, so I'm gonna shadow <laughs> step. All right. And they boop. Yeah, I find it kind of funny that um, Roland suggested you do that as opposed to the wizard he's seen teleport three times. I mean, I guess you've also seen you know, I've, I've now seen her wrap herself in shadow and disappear, and she seems to be That's able true. to do it for free. <laughs> Which is accurate. Uh, do I need to make a check or something to oh. tie this off, or... Let's get a sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand. Okay. <laughs> Something I'm actually okay with, I hope. You would hope. Because I am a rogue. One thing I forgot to do was pull up my calculator because I am silly. And don't know how to maths. Yes, I said maths intentionally. Oh yeah, we all have dark vision. This is yep. true. The it's dragon has dark vision too. Yep. Twenty-one, by the way. Twenty-one. Yes. All right. Yep. You can get uh, knotted and secured fairly well. Ah, uh, so you can call up with confidence that the rope is ready for use. You guys are good, you can come down. As the young man say, hop. Alright, that's... Is it gonna be any kind of check to get down there? <laughs> with the rope? Um... If you want to get down without taking the d6 of fall damage, it would be either athletics or acrobatics. So basically the same as if we jumped. 
No, if you jumped, you just take the damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a 12. All right. Oh, no. Melisari is watching other people do it first. 12 for <laughs> two. Uh, do you have a portent left, or have you used both? I have used both. I'm gonna move out of the way. You are out of the way. We're going to the top of the pillar first, and then down the side. Well, she is moving oh. off the pillar. I she, she's already off the successfully pillar. did that. And that is... I'm gonna use this red dragon now, just because it takes up less extra space. So I guess if, if it looks like Roland did it moderately easily... I did it okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, we'll try her luck. I'm totally gonna hurt myself here. You don't score less than a 12. <sighs> that sounds like you scored less than a 12. I haven't rolled yet. No. I'm continuing to debate. <laughs> I'll would be looking up. Making I'm sure. just gonna stay at the top of the hole. It's not good with climbing. Wait, yeah. who's staying up yeah. at the top of the hole? The dragon? The dog. Conquer. Oh, the dog. Owl would be watching. Arms crossed. Like, he's not like staying like the top. He's like staying like the top of the way that like the rope is. Speaking so of like, dragon, what is this big ass dragon we see down here? That's that's your dragon. Oh, that's okay. Our dragon changed. Yeah, just because this uh, one doesn't expand outside of its space so much. I see. And it's not flying, so. Okay. All right. I, I don't I, have a time. I think I made it. <laughs> uh, what'd you get? Uh, twenty-five. Yeah, you're fine. In fact, you can. Ju- Oh. I'll let that carry down for like getting down the entire pillar if you want. I have to roll again? Yep. Yes! Uh, I got a 19 on the first one. <laughs> Alright, you're Mel- fine. Does Melisari complain about climbing at all in character? Um, what, what's well, your insight? Actually, and I'll, give you you this, I'll give you this option, uh, can I- Aurelion. You can make it always the bottom with your 25. Or you can roll again for the second one, but give somebody else advantage by helping them on their way down. I was gonna ask, can Al shadow step with other people? No. No. Damn it! That's what I'll roll again. It's written into the thing. It's only I you. I don't remember, Tristan. I'm sorry. What happened to I have I'm my sheet up in front of me? I do. Uh. Just, um, remember. It doesn't rolled again. Step. Alright, you're gonna roll so, again and give somebody advantage? Yeah, I got a 22. Alright, yeah, you're fine. I'm gonna so, face plant. Well, uh, <laughs> which person would you right. like to assist in getting down? Who needs assistance? Either of them. I would point out that I am almost 600 years old, so I am a senior citizen and I would need help. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that in character? <laughs> <laughs> he, he like looks over the edge and goes, That's farther than I thought and he goes, Yeah. <laughs> Playing the senior citizen guard. <laughs> yep. I'm playing my senior citizen guard. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that sway you, Aurelion? <laughs> if I tie off a rope here, would that help? We did There's tie already off a rope. rope. It, 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 all the way, going all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, the rope is tied off to where we came from. It's tied off here, and then it's just hanging down to the bottom, so you can climb it up to here. Ah. It's secured, it's, it's secured in two places. Oh, that's not what I have to do. Okay. <laughs> God, you got me crying. <laughs> and Melisari laughs so hard she falls off the pillar. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I haven't rolled yet. Okay. I was waiting to see who was getting the advantage, and then Roland whipped that shit out. 
second. Get in my, man. Get really on carrying my ass down, princess style. <laughs> I'm really yep. glad I asked for that advantage because the first roll was a seven on die. Well, Ooh. first we have to see who he picks. Uh, I rolled a die to see, yeah, and it's it's rolling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so start rolling. My advantage roll gives me a seventeen. Okay, Yay. you're fine. Yay! Great. Here I go. Oh, that's a ten. That's fine. Okay, good. You have a rope, and you can brace your feet against rock. You're not just climbing down a rope this time, so this one's much easier. Okay. Propel yourself. I was Propel. Scared. And besides, going down Repel. much easier than going up. Repel. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the up part. I, I corrected myself, Tristan. Alright, so not all of the, the bits of gold and treasure on the gold are gold and treasure, but it's all metal. What kind of metal? Uh, some of it's ore veins, some of it's like random junk, uh, some of it's kind of metal sheets with like some sort of biological material attached to it. Oh my gosh. Unsettling. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> the I real reason that was happening. Wait, the real reason what was happening? Um, a thing that uh, Eskel told you guys about. Wait, what? Um, I did not hear any of that exchange. How Don't recently? Worry about it. Oh no. I'm How scared. How recently did Eskel tell us about it? Uh, uh, In game or out of game? Before the Gnomish um. Village. Uh, do you have key in mind? Um, the drow? She does. Uh, the Melisari I do have key in mind. mind, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I guess I will remind you. Uh, yes, he is uh, speaking of the drow that had... Okay. Uh... Yeah, I, I had that thought right when um the Bahir we found out about it wanting metal. So, confirmation. What? Confirmation. Indeed. What? What is this biological material? I, I'm just. I'm not uh, sure. It is I'm as of yet unidentified as to what it is. It just seems organic, organic. in nature. <laughs> Can I investigate? Wait, sure. I'm casting a spell. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta finish that first. Uh, actually, I'm gonna assume you finish that and then came down. Otherwise, that's gonna cause some disadvantage Whoa. in climbing rolls. That's that's a good point. Actually, you have disadvantage regardless. Actually, you know what? Wait, why do I have disadvantage regardless? Because oh, there's two exhausted. effects to your spell. Shit. Oh boy. I forgot I was exhausted. Ooh, or rather, I forgot that was a thing. God damn so it. Let's, uh, so you made the first one with that 10. Let's see what that second roll is. Um, Knowing this, how far down is it? <laughs> uh, let's find out. 5, 10, 15, 20, eh, about 20, 22 feet. Yeah, we'll no. call it 20. Remember, remembering this, I am absolutely. I'm gonna stop casting detect magic and cast misty step to get down. That's a I am not thing. risking disadvantage. I forgot about that. Are you very close to death? It's not that I'm close to death. It's that I don't want to fall. <laughs> I don't care how close to death I am. It's only a maximum of 24 points of damage. I don't care. Not even. It's, this only is... a, it's only a maximum of 12. This is, um... The pillar says it's 40 feet tall. Did I miscount? This is me acting in, in character. Understood. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I missed a step down. Because my brain would do everything I can't be trusted, so... And that was my last second level spell slot. Hello? Excellent. 
so yeah, it's about 25 feet, so... Yeah. Yeah, no. Because watch me, like, crit fail, and then we, like, decide to do something silly, like roleplay it, like I hit myself on the pillar and tumble down worse, and it's bad. So. No, I wouldn't do that to you unless you chose it. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll put it out there as an option if it's something you want, but I'm not gonna force you into, like, crit fails of being a thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of enjoy crit fails unless they don't- or as long as they don't automatically kill you. Um, or hurt other people. Which is why they are optional for each person. Yes. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, no, I am- I'm Misty stepping down, I am safely on the ground. I, like, look down, and, like, my head kind of swirls, and I'm like, okay, never mind. And I look down again, and I- I Misty step. And then look back up at the others. Yeah, All right, God. so you teleport down, uh, Aurelion practically jumps, and, uh, while well, carrying, uh, Eskel, mm -hmm. not Eskel, uh, Roland. Eskel. Yes, Eskel. That's the right way to treat your senior citizens. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, upon, after look, taking a brief glance around me, I begin casting, uh, Detect Magic again. I'm gonna start a timer. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys try and figure out what you want to do real quick, because I have to pee. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is... Investigate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess maybe which which path we want to take first. Of course, I also do want to investigate the the bio on the floor. <laughs> I guess the, maybe the I do what? Or I start casting the organic you're not, you're stuff not on like the. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah you sure smell it, and then you taste it. it eh. I go all bear grills on it. You know, I was gonna say, like, I start chatting. Except, A, I can't if I'm casting a spell, though I am gonna investigate first, I did say. Um. With yourself, with but him. I would want to chat with the dragon, and the oh. dragon is not presently here. <laughs> nope. Sorry. Dragon had to pee. Yep. A lot of pee. Big dragon. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. <laughs> <laughs> I like I can't get a good sense of how this looks other than the glittering gold on the ground. Mm. I mean some of it would be coinage, but it would be like metal armor. Well yeah, no, I know, but I mean like the um the whole cave layout other than the paths of of um metal we see. <clears throat> the fuck? It's like a, it's kind of dome-like. I've seen it with day with daylight turned on. <laughs> it's got some entrances around the walls and the lower and the upper tiers. But you've only got what sixty feet of dark vision. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if you can even see the balls from where you are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can't tell if these are paths or if it's just, like, an open space. Mm. I, th I think it's just an open space with, like, some elevation aspect going. Is that the case? 
Yeah, mostly. It's a it's a fairly open space broken up by like stalagmites and such. Yeah, yeah. With okay. a little bit of elevation up and down. Yeah, that was that was just all I meant is I can't. And then these veins really of the metal spidering out from the middle. Yeah. I'm back. Hey. Welcome oh, back. Hi, there's a person. Yeah, sorry. I didn't realize there was a person in the stream. Hi, person oh, in the stream. Oh, it's Ono oh, it's Ryan. I don't know who Ono oh, it's Ryan is. Oh hey! Yeah, I don't and know it's also, Rimps, Rimps a master. Ugh. Hello, both of you. Bloody hell. Wait, who else? Hmm. Where? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, you guys matter. I want to. All right. So okay. you guys hang out here. What you want to do? Um, I actually, I was gonna start casting detect magic. I think I said before you left, but I actually want to investigate the the goop on the ground first. The goop on the ground. The goop the organic the metal. shit on the metal. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. The goop on the ground. Uh, uh, you can roll. <laughs> Investigation. That's nature number kind of. <laughs> I'd say roll nature, medicine, and investigation. All three? All three. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're gonna have the nature be that one, the investigation be that one, and the medicine be that one. Uh, okay. Nature is a six. Fourth. Um, medicine is a 19, and investigation is a 25. Uh, would you like me to put that in the chat for you? No, I'm pretty sure I can work with that. Okay. So, there's your nature being low... You're not sure what this is per se. Uh, medicine, being as high as it was, though, helps you to at least identify that this does appear to be some sort of you know, metal plating that was the outer shell or exoskeleton of a creature, and yeah. the with the biological pieces being its, well, organs, or at least Delicious. pieces of them. Yeah. And then in investigation, does that matter? Uh, the investigation was just kind of, and the investigation was kind of seeing what was there, and if you're able to, like, if there was anything there of note. Uh, there's not particularly that I can think of. I was having a roll it more or less in case I could think of something. Okay. Melisari looks immediately more on edge. We may need to be concerned about the presence of less than friendly drow here. Hmm? I'm sorry? Do you what remember what Espel told us about the Gorgons and how the drow were harvesting its metal? Uh oh. This, this could be that. Uh oh. Um, I do not think that any drow would come near our lair as dangerous as this. What makes you think the drow have something to do with this particular gorgon? I mean, nothing for certain, but we did see them harvesting from a gor. A, a, slain Gorgon. Um, you know that how long ago? It wasn't that close to here, though, was it? Or was it? It was not particularly close to here, no. Okay. It would have been several days away, in fact. Okay. So, it, it's possible it's not related at all, but... I would be more concerned about the potential difference of Gorgons. That while I have not spent time around the Lord Swan of my people in the wild, I think that uh, this mm, practice of staying away from such dangerous creatures would not have changed. Melisari looks slightly comforted and nods, but is still looking concerned. They would um, typically stay away from these, however, if they were desperate, they 
on occasion would consider bargaining. Bargaining? Like this dragon tried? <laughs> uh, perhaps, but from a safer distance. <laughs> Is, with something that can move 50 and shoot lightning, is there any such thing as a safe <laughs> distance? <laughs> um, yeah, about 100 feet. Mm. <laughs> I would still be looking heavily concerned. Um, if Roland doesn't... Sorry, go on. Yeah, I think it's not quite a concern at the moment. I think it's going to be the eggs, and he says, I, I imagine the eggs are what are generating the uh, electrical arcs, and they are illuminating the area somewhat? Yes, uh, they are what's generating the electrical arcs, aside from the crystals in the pillar. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I would have had disadvantage on all of those rolls too. Uh, just let it ride for this time. Oh, okay. God damn it. I do not see any sign that these eggs have hatched. And the fact that they are arcing now in case that they have yet to do so. But I haven't the foggiest idea how long we have until they do. So we should work quickly. I can agree to working quickly. Let's do this thing. Alright, so do you Scooby do it? Go out just as a group to each pile one by one. What's the uh what's the plan here? Well, I need to take 10 minutes casting Detect Magic, mm -hmm. so I will follow everybody else's lead in that time. Yes. Okay, so you're sitting out, because I expect this will take less than 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go talk to the dragon. Okay, <laughs> one goes to talk to the dragon. Uh, Aurelion, what are you looking to do? I'm lighting a torch and going checking... Piles. Wait, Assuming okay. there are piles. To find piles. I don't know. I don't know what it's like down here. Are you looking for treasure? Or are you trying to just get to the eggs? What's the? Oh, I want to see what's here, treasure-wise. All right. A torch, can... because dark vision means I can only see in like, shades of gray. But yeah. if I light a torch, I can see color. Uh, you can roll me some perception and investigation then. Oh, I'm really good at those. <laughs> <laughs> um. And, uh, yeah. Al, well, what would you like to do? Character, can somebody. Wait, what am I rolling? Perception, perception and investigation. investigation. Can somebody please remind oh, Ari as to what? <laughs> we were doing down here to begin with because <laughs> my ADHD ain't being friendly to me at the moment. We're here to find a magic magic. item for the dragon and anything we want for ourselves. Yes, okay. <laughs> I... Uh, ooh, I suck at this. <laughs> I would like to try to find the dragon's possession and get the fuck out of here. Alright. Uh, uh, back to me. Please roll perception and investigation, and I'll come back to those rolls after Roland. Oh, I wanted to go speak to Hasser and, and say, this um, darkness creating magic item, what does it look like? Um, kind of like a bottle, should have like a stopper on the top, kind of uncork it. it should uh, let out a cloud of darkness. And almost as he's in the front, as he's saying that, you'll see a sphere of darkness start to uh, grow from the uh, center of the pillar. Like that? Derek, what was I rolling? Perception and Investigation. Oh, I need to turn to daylight if I want to see that. I point to the darkness and I and I say, like that one? Uh, yes, exactly like that. Right, I got to turn to daytime. That's what daytime. So then, who uncorked it? Oh, sweet lord. 
Uh, oh god. But shouldn't it be um our night vision? Uh, it should. Also, well, I, I need a daylight so I could see a thing that. Fair enough. Wasn't lit. Secret camel. Um. Wait, does that mean you found the camel? Secret camel. No, I haven't yet. I think oh. he was looking. Oh. Okay. No, I was uh, looking at the diagram I have under hidden underneath the floor that de designates where it gets covered in darkness. Do you <laughs> want my perception and investigation now, or should I put them in chat? If you would put them in chat, I would appreciate it. Same goes for you, Thomas. Oh, I found the camel, uh... though. Okay. Congrats. Secret camel. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Daylight's helpful. Oh. Uh, stupid thing. Lock. There we go. All right, you found the camel. Would you like uh, uh, 10 HP or uh, inspiration? Um, does anybody here not have inspiration? I have inspiration. Heck. I have. And either of those can be granted to whoever you wish. I do not have inspiration. Uh, I will grant inspiration to Roland. Since mm. everybody I believe is above bloody. And we still have healing available. Thank you, healer. Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I have done all of my healing without spending spell slots thus far. <laughs> well, I've seen where I need to see. Back to the darkness. Okay. Well, wow, very dark. Uh, I rolled an 8 for my perception, and I was like, okay, that might work. What do I add to that? And it's, I add a negative 1. Woof. Nice. <laughs> Ouch. I'm so not good you're... with the uh, mind stuff. Oh. Okay, so you go to talk to the dragon, and as you're talking to him, you're all enveloped in magical darkness. Ow, you don't really notice, other than yeah. the fact that other people are surprised that something's going on. What? I thought you I think said he... that the uh, magical darkness would not come out unless someone uncocked it. Um, perhaps it's faulty. Or cracked. Doesn't. Hold on. Uh. I have devil sight, though. Yeah. Which works. Yeah, which is why you don't notice the, the magical darkness directly. Because you can't see it. Oh. Oh. He pointed that... So, the so do limited. I see. Yeah, you, everything looks fine to you. It looks like daylight. Okay. Yeah, but you'll see kind of like the surprise on other people's faces as they kind of get enveloped in the darkness. Does the screen shake every time that dragon is moved? Yes. It's a big, yes. It's a big creature. Yes, <laughs> and it terrifies me. Genuinely. <laughs> a little bit more than it probably should, actually. Well, I'm not going to be able to find this bottle while it is leaking darkness like that. I cannot see a damn thing. Uh, Where is this area of darkness? Uh, I don't have a good way of marking it. Uh, okay. Um, just maybe show a bubble? Yeah, okay, show a temporary bubble. It would be about... I think it was... 40 or so feet, 45. It'd be something like that. Oh, so we're in the bubble of darkness? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. That's why we can't see a damn thing except for Al. <laughs> oh. And the dragon. The dragon the dragon can see in magical darkness? It can't quite see, but it has blind sight. Oh. Oh. Wait. And this started after we all got down here? Yes. Oh, fuck me. I'm still looking. I just want to catch, cast, detect magic. <laughs> God damn it. This is this is why uh, Roland was like, well, now I can't see, so I can't help you. Okay. Uh, uh, I just, I don't know. I, for some reason, I thought it, whatever. Anyway. So he's going to, the dragon's going to start digging through, like, uh, 
kind of this area. And if you're like... Be careful not to break it to us. 30, 30 seconds to a minute, you'll hear kind of a recorking sound, and the darkness will uh, not entirely recede, but enough that you guys can see. Um, does anyone have any... I don't know, gunk of some kind? Clay? Is that something that might be in my, uh... Um... Oh, I have sealing wax. That would work. <laughs> that would actually work great. <laughs> um... I was gonna say in my, my like, component. Um... But then you wouldn't be able to cast whatever spell requires clay. <laughs> um, uh, you can use that. your sealing wax, or if you want, I will let you have that as a component in your pouch, but you have to pick one spell that you can't cast until you refresh that component. Um, I'll just use my sealing wax. Alright. <clears throat> I don't see a need for it outside of society other than this. Wait. Alright. Not society. So, I imagine, uh, if you could seal this, he kind of holds it out, kind of like between two claws. Um, oh, uh, and you can't see, so you have just a small sphere of darkness. <laughs> um, I'm also sitting here, like, chanting an incantation. I just kind of, like, you know absentmindedly rummaged through my bag and, like, held it out. <laughs> I'm still trying to cast this damn spell. I'm pretty sure you're completely useless when you're casting a damn spell. Like, you can't interact with us. Oh. Well, in that case... Like, we let you that, hold on to us and, and get tugged yeah. along, but, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know. Um, yeah, I guess then I... I don't do any. I'm still aware of things happening around me, though, right? Uh, yeah, yeah kind of, but you have to, like, focus and not get distracted by them. Yeah. So then, yeah, no. Sorry, guys. I'm That's useless. okay. It just means that you have to, we have to wait until you yeah, finish no, casting the spell. <laughs> uh, so, um, I have um, nothing that falls into the category of goop. Uh, so... Let's see. I think I might have an acid arrow. Let me check. Uh, I don't know if acid would be able to melt so, the glass at all. Alright, you have good rolls, but as the bottle was found, is there something else you'd like to be looking for? I mean... I don't think so inherently. I don't know if there's exactly something Al would be looking for other than I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Alright, then I'll come back to you. So, Aurelia, you're just kind of looking for generic treasure? Pretty much. Alright. Well, as you got a 8 on perception from your passive and a 10 on investigation, uh, you will see one thing that stands out. Uh... off over uh, with this kind of large pile over here. I don't actually can see it because I've got I don't control your screen. Oh boy. Uh, There's a lot of you, electrical arcing going on over there. Yeah, that one's got like five eggs. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, fine. You'll see a what seems like an oversized suit of armor. Oh, 
Hmm. Uh, let me see if I can find this prop I'm looking for. I'll plop it down. Is that a miss? I think it's a crack. Uh, that's not particularly oversized. So let's try. That has been approximately 10 minutes out of game. I've tried to be fairly conscientious of, like, when we're not actively, actively, like, playing, essentially, yep. pausing it and stuff. Are, are you good with calling that? Yep. Or do you want I'll me to get to you directly after uh, this thing. Uh, that's the only way you can make a set of oversized armor. So. There you have it. What should I have? Oh, there. Oh my. It's very big. And this is what you notice because it's huge. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, you can investigate further if you like, mm. but first I will finish with the tech magic and see what Sorry would like to be doing. So this is what I see, Magican. All and right. did you guys manage to seal off the thing? No. Well, I mean, I hadn't... He hadn't come back to ask me. I was gonna ask about the acid thing, but whatever. Oh, oh right. um, sorry. I forgot. Uh, you can ask about that now. I'll back up a second. I still have a few more, um, shots, uh, for the magic arrows from the quiver. So am I able to get it to come out with an acid head? And if so, can I handhold? Because it says that it's like an acid effect on the arrow. Like, uh, you set it to acid and you pull out the arrow, it's now an acid thing, and then you shoot it. Yep. How does that uh, function? Like, if it's the D6, then it's kind of dripping with acid. If it's mm -hmm. purely acid, mm -hmm. it basically strikes the target and transmutes the entire arrow to acid. Okay, so if I do the D6 one and it's dripping with acid, and I try holding out the arrow and dripping it onto the glass to see if anything happens. Uh, you may? Because, I mean, glass is pretty unreactive in real life, so most acids are contained very happily by glass and do nothing to it. But who knows? Yep. Maybe magic in this world uh, works in such a way that the acid will melt it, for better or worse. Uh, no, I'd say it's probably gonna be unreactive. I will try to stick with some physics on this one. Okay. So it drips on, rolls over it, nothing happens, it goes... Hey, it's just it drops onto the floor, yeah. kind of makes a few holes, <laughs> small holes there. And it was worth a try. Uh, and then I'll count as one charge. Okay. I know it. Yeah. Okay. So going on with the detect magic? Yes. Um. You. In this gonna... bubble, do I notice anything other than the magic uh... items? Yeah. I need to look up what school this particular spell is from. Actually, I'll just ask. Justin, what spell... Do you know what school darkness is from? Illusion. Illusion. You know, that would make sense. <laughs> so I see the illusion from the, the darkness. Correct. Uh, and you'll see some uh, evocation coming off the crystals. Okay. Uh, if you wish to try and find more, you'll have to. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's odd. Actually, uh, never mind. You get evocation yeah, off of darkness. Weird. Interesting. Makes no sense. Yeah. I mean, I guess creating darkness as opposed to like it being in a. Weird. You're not tricking the mind. Well, but even yeah. illusion isn't tricking the mind. That's enchantment. So, I don't know. I would have called it illusion. But they're I saying that creating this darkness is manipulating energy. Because that's what evocation is. So, you okay. get evocation from both the sphere of darkness and the crystals you can see. Okay. 
so I can I can now like identify other things. You'll have to see them. Otherwise, yeah, just pinging magic in the area. Yeah, I know. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say. Oh, but I can see the sphere now. I know that they're trying to seal it. I can now offer. I have sealing wax. Yep. I'm gonna offer that. Conjuration. Okay. What? I said I think I still think that if you asked me, <clears throat> I would place darkness in conjuration before I would place it in evocation. Yeah. Yeah. So he so the dragon will hold out. Uh, he's, he's, um, ah, I cannot get the Tristan. Could you pronounce it for me one more time so I can get my tongue to work? Hasserin. So Hasserin will uh, kind of. Hold it out between like two claw tips. As I've um, learned, young dragons can't uh, polymorph. <laughs> it's true, they um, can't. Does, does anybody have a way to uh, heat said ceiling wax? I point cool, at right? Hasserin and say, I was gonna say, he like uh, to up his mouth. <laughs> He is a blast dragon and so has flare blast. <clears throat> Do not have a tinderbox. Apparently, I don't. Maybe sorry, not herself a tinderbox. Have you seen me cast any fire spells? No. Um, if if you can control, if you can heat the wax without burning us, <laughs> by all means. If you're concerned, I can pull out another arrow, use another charge, and have this one be the d6 fire, and that I mean, should I'm... be burning on the end, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm trusting Hasserin. Hasserin. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if he thinks he can do this without burning me, then I'm, I'm fine <clears throat> trusting him. Um, if you put the wax on first, I could point myself away from you. Like, if you could... That sounds like a good idea. I will. I'll shave off. Um, I have a small knife too. I will. I'll shave off a, a decent chunk of the sealing wax onto the top of the vial. Uh, you know, I lost the right. What, what are you doing? The cracks over there. <sighs> uh, only a, a d20, not with disadvantage, because it's just luck, mostly. Great. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, 14 on the die. Alright, after a little bit, you're able to get the wax in generally the right place. <laughs> uh, he turns and lets out uh, some flame. Not like the big stream he used earlier on the here. But... Well, I melted all the wax and it is gone. It evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> like a, kind of like a five foot stream or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll that'll hold for now to like get this thing home. Okay. Uh, well then, with that done, I'm gonna, I guess, wander in the direction. We're all pretty much still here, other than Aurelian, right? Aurelian yep, wandered he's... off. Okay. He, then I'm he wandered wander. off to investigate armor. Yeah, I'm gonna wander off in his direction. And yeah, he's easy to spot because he is a torch. <laughs> I must say, I have not before in my life um, had the opportunity to meet the dragon face to face. Uh, which is surprising because I have lived a very long time. Uh, but I have just never been in the right place at the right time. So, I must uh, say, this is a very unexpected meeting. Uh, and I am glad that we were able to help you out. Uh, with that, he's actually going to come over kind of next to you. Uh, and, like, I've never had a chance to meet one of you that's not been trying to steal from me or stab me. Oh. Yes, I suppose that makes a good deal of sense. And many of the... many of my kind, uh, other instances of uh, despite our queen. And, uh, we do not have much choice in many cases. But, uh, my friends and I, we follow, uh, Illustre, the strange daughter. And she wishes for us to live on the surface uh, peacefully with the other races. And so that is what I strive to do. 
and uh, tongue is forgetting to work. Uh, Hasserin. Hasserin. Uh, will seem to take a large interest in that, as this is something he's not really heard much about. Uh, and he'll be kind of engaging with you for a while. And if you want, I can come back and we'll play some more of that in a minute. But there will at least be... He will be very aggressive in uh, wanting to learn uh, more about this. Yeah, I mean, as a cleric, Roland's going to be very forthcoming. He wants more people to know about uh, Illustrae. No. Alright, so... You get over here, well, sorry, and you'll see the armor is visible enough that you can get some senses off of it. Uh, and it is magic. No way. <laughs> it is... Holy crap. You will see... Let me think here. Uh, abjuration. Transmutation. Evocation. And... Necromancy. Uh, okay, hang on a second, let me write that. I already forgot half of them. <laughs> I feel that. Alright, uh, are you ready for me to list them off again? Nope, because I keep accidentally closing my tab. Okay, ready. All right. There's evocation, transmutation, uh, evocation, transmutation, abjuration. That's the other one, and necromancy. I th I feel like I probably have to kind of like squint at this a little closer to like make sense of it all. <laughs> This thing is being that, but, yeah. several different sources of magic. Do the eggs ping magic, by the way? Uh, they do not. They are... They are producing lightning, but they are doing so naturally. That's cool, and also weird, and I love it. Okay, but nothing else in this little area? Uh, nothing... apparent enough that you'd be able to... Get with the track magic that I found looking through it. Most of the treasure is going to be near the pillar, like most of the actual treasure. There's just kind of like ore veins or kind of scraps of metal, maybe a set of armor or two. Okay. I'm trying to get a sense of like what I can see with magic and then what I can see without magic. <laughs> Anyway. Alright, so I can see that there's a, like, little, I'm assuming that's an entryway over, um... Over here? Kind of in front of us. Here, here... There, there, yeah. Yeah, this is like... Okay. There does appear to be more cave that direction. Okay. And... I is can't. the yeah. is, are the cardinal directions on per this map the same as like per um you know what I'm trying to say um yeah. okay sure I don't see a reason they couldn't be so that's kind of back ish the direction we came plus a little south okay yeah. anyway. Uh, so having done that, I'm going to start moving back towards center. Or maybe, I don't know, cutting a swath around. It's Is there a setting that would give us a decent idea of dark vision? Because it's hard to see otherwise. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, you um, want it to be brighter, like, but... Yeah, brighter, but... You know, it's still d dark vision y. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's switch that to none. 
Like, is this a, is this the um the lighting that we had like in the uh, Forgotten Fortress? It is not. How's that? Is that any better? Yes, that is great, actually. Last time we had. I'm not sure what the visual thing was. We had it like that. Huh. Oh right, the red only. I remember that now. Yeah, no, either either of those is fine. That gives me a better sense of like the cave layout. Yeah, I'll leave it like this because the red only makes my eyes hurt. Yeah, that's fine. Um, well then I guess I'm actually gonna kind of just try to, like, do, do mm. sort of a walk around. Yeah, and Not if you ask one, I can always try it today. I like the ambiance of cave. So I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm spending the ten minutes of my spell just kind of cave scanning, beyond. basically. Do, 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 do. Etc. Would it be forth. Cave Beyond or Beyond's Cave? I like Beyond's Cave because it makes you think of Beyonce. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Uh, give me some perception and in investigation. Uh, great. I assume, yes, I know that they have to be with a disadvantage. So I do remember because I keep forgetting. Yeah. There's goldfish over here. <laughs> Alright, this is. You said perception and investigation, right? Yes. Perception says, ouch. Uh, perception says, perception, perception. Capsaicin? Uh, 12. So I guess I default to my passive 16. Is that, that's how that works, right? Uh, you default to your passive minus 5. Passive minus 5. That's unfortunate. Okay, then 12. And then investigation. Motherfucker! Yay, disadvantage. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> I rolled a twenty on the other die. Hey, fifteen's not bad, though. <laughs> Alright, so you are able to find... Uh, a few things that... <clears throat> uh, when you get... Oh, that's not you. No, thank you. Where, where are you? <clears throat> I'm down here. Alright, you yeah, come with me. Um, I'm also I am primarily focusing on the detect magic. I should theoretically just kinda see the colors pop, no. Yeah. As you pass by here, you'll get a pop uh from uh just inside that crack. Great. Is that and... the only magic I'm I'm coming across during this sweep other than what has already been discussed? Uh the only thing that stands out, you'd have to like be kind of digging through kind of the area kind of near the pillar here right. to find much more but you do get uh, a pop over here um I do want to make sure that you're aware <sighs> that it does penetrate most barriers it is blocked by a foot of stone an inch oh an inch of common metal there is a lot of metal over there never mind yeah. um well it's not so much like and like the I, I know it would ping in general, but to actually get the the colors, yeah, yeah. you have to see the object. Okay, yeah. So there is there is a variety of like magical dustings that I see in the middle. <clears throat> like you feel magic in the middle, but unless you get the others to move out of the middle, you don't know if it's gotcha. theirs gotcha. or gotcha. and you have to take off your own magic items too. Gotcha. Okay. It's a little oversensitive in that respect. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, but you get a ping off here, and that you're also able to see. Uh, I don't get tens of. I think it's. Uh, uh, some pieces of rolled up paper with. Uh, kind of slightly charred edges, but they seem to kind of hit the edge. Inches of this cave, like uh, these cave walls. Uh, one emanating, uh, I think it's evocation, and one 
with necromancy. I'll have to go double check the spells real quick. Okay. Um, and I can't really uh, reach them, I assume. It's going to be a challenge for Uh, Do you have Mage Hand by chance? Nope. Then it's possible you have to kind of try to squeeze through or see if there's another way in there, because you can see there's kind of a, a cavern kind of space behind this. Okay. Okay. So, if that's me, then I assume that this sweep is probably going to take the majority, if not all of the ten minutes. Or, is it ten minutes? Ten minutes. And, oh, I forgot about one other. There could also be one more of transportation. Okay. Three scrolls? Yeah. Three presumed scrolls, at least. Yeah, I guess it could be a map, too. <laughs> One the yeah. first time. Okay. Well, in that case, I will say that's taking me my ten minutes, probably, and um, pass the time off to somebody else. Yeah. All right. Uh, how... Me? Me? Let's go with Al. Well, yeah, because you're responding. Um. What would you- is there anything you'd like to be doing? Um... That- I guess... like, if there... Was there anything, like, I noticed that would kind of catch my eye, I suppose? I- I guess that is... the best way already knows how to put it. Um... <clears throat> Uh, I You're very hard to hear, dear. Oh. Sorry. I was fixing a thing. Um. I guess just would anything catch my eye? That anything unusual that. I don't really know how to put what I'm trying to say. Um, Anything unique? Uh, you see, uh, like if you can kind of rummage around a bit, uh, you'll spot uh, what looks to be kind of a interesting looking dagger. Uh, what are your rules? Uh, 26 and 19. Uh, and also, uh, a few gemstones. Um, I would definitely grab the dagger. The gemstones are kind of a... Can I... Do I recognize what kind of gemstones they are, or...? Uh, there'd be a... Ruby, an onyx, and... Uh, some jade. Okay. Uh... Take them, I guess. Why not? <laughs> Other than that, I think I'm good. Alright. Avralion, would you like to do anything else? Investigate the armor further? Uh, look someplace else? I'm... Well... Th how, this armor is quite large, is it? Yes. And have I been told anything about it? I had approached, kind of squinted at a little bit, and said interesting if you want to have asked me what that meant you can I would have I would turn to uh what now it's giving off several different varieties of magic evocation transmutation abjuration necromancy I 
suppose any one of them makes sense on their own. It's just it's interesting to see them all combined together. I can hmm. identify it further, but I would like to sweep first. Yeah. Get this out of here anyway. But I can come back to that. I'm going looking around. Anything else interesting? <laughs> you guys are all like scouring this dark cave for <laughs> loot, and Roland's just like sitting there chatting it up with the dragon. As he's like turning this uh, jar with the wax and on it over and over in his claws. Ah. Alright, so is there any particular area you'd like to look in? Or just look in general? Well, I'm starting where I am. Okay. Should, should we say that we did the sweep together? <laughs> or do you want to spend a little more time, like, investigating, investigating? I'm just kind of, like, wandering back and forth, hoping for pings. Hmm? That was directed at you, man. Yeah. I know. I, I didn't... Um, I... I... What I've been doing for the last 10 minutes in game is I'm just basically taking a sweep back and forth through the cavern. Oh, I said um, I'd start here. They just check everything and then Yeah, no. I I what I'm asking is really just if if we want to say that we have done this together since I walked up, we did the little thing with the armor and then I started walking. Um back yeah, sure. That that makes sense. Alright. Uh, if you want to roll me a new perception. I guess functionally it doesn't really change anything other than maybe one of us sees something the other didn't. But anyway. That's an 11? An 11? Um, you don't see uh, much of note, uh, but as you're walking along, uh, you'll see what looks like a kind of darkish green uh, orve up in some of the cave walls. as you are wandering around and have brought a torch. So you can see in color. I look at it and go, I have no idea what that is. And I don't have a pick. What? What is? Are you, you're pointing out the, uh... Yeah. The or I have a guess. Out you of can, character. Do I have can, a guess in character? You can make that guess if it's right, I won't make you roll. Uh my get my hope, my guess is um Adamantine is uh green, isn't it? It is. Is my guess correct? Yes, it does appear to be a small uh, aura vein of Emeta. That's fucking cool. I am surprised and interested, interested and make a mental note to come back to it later. Where was that? Uh, it would have been... Uh, let me see here. Uh... Probably would have been up kind of on like kind of this interior ledge thing as you guys are passing by. Neat. Uh, that's the, I'm just kind of. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, it's just, just that general vicinity. Okay. It's not huge, but I mean, the stuff's not exactly <laughs> common either. Would you like to roleplay more talking with the dragon, or is there something else that you'd like to be doing? Um, I mean, he definitely wants this dragon to be as informed as possible, just because it is a good dragon and will probably carry the stories of Elastrae back to its people in the desert. Yep. Uh, you can be as... Uh, he can be as informed as you like. I was just curious if you personally want to roleplay more of that. Or hmm. if there was something else you wanted to do with the time, have him just be. Oh, born. no, I think we've kind of. If, as long as we state that he's giving it, the dragon the answers to any questions he can, uh, then we've probably said enough to that end. Um, but if there's um, still looking around to be done after the dragon is satisfied, I would like to know if you need me to roll for that. Ah. <laughs> uh. There, there is more looking around that can be done if you like. Uh, also, I guess I'll check nature and uh, uh, what is the incidence of uh, hatching a Bahir and it not eating you? Um, Give me a pet. <laughs> that was the same thought I had upstairs. You can roll nature. Uh... I got a 17. Alright. Uh, so from your experience with them, they <laughs> are possible to be tamed, although it is <clears throat> very, very difficult, as they are natural. well, not naturally, uh, magically bent towards, uh, violence as they were not made naturally in the beginning. They were creatures of uh, creations of magic. Right. So what they have they... certain tendencies that are kind of hard coded that are very hard to break. And uh was my seventeen <clears throat> say about uh Bihir offspring surviving without a parent? Um, if they have enough uh, metal around them to hatch properly, uh, they uh, could survive. It's kind of a toss-up, 50-50. It depends on if they run something bigger than them before they're, you know, a decent size. It is a creature that attacked you. Uh, Hassan. It appeared the uh, larger specimen than most uh, Behir I have uh, seen before. Do you think these um, eggs too would grow like their parent? I honestly don't know. I've not seen much of these. Um, perhaps that is part of my ignorance in trying to have a conversation with one. Perhaps. I just think that it would be quite unfortunate if we left all of these eggs here to hatch and then they became a problem for people in this region, uh, like the um, the holdout of the Temple of the Raven Queen nearby. And it might be a good idea to try to understand such creatures and see if there is uh, anything to be done, or to understand at least if uh, uh, naturally born uh, generations of them uh, can differentiate from their magical creation. Do you not think? It's possible, but I... Uh, I'm no wizard. I do not possess the <laughs> uh, spells or inclination to try and keep one captive to understand some of these things. Mm. And, well, unless you were out here in the middle of the 
nowhere for no reason, I would expect you don't have time either. No, I just wondered. Because I fear that if we leave them here, they will hatch, and then they will become a problem when you are not around to do anything about it. Am I in earshot of this, by the way? It's an echoey cave. Everything's in earshot. Okay. Uh, we're visually uh, not in line of each other, so you're just hearing echoes off the walls. Yeah. I was just I was just making sure that I hear this conversation happening. Even if I'm not actively paying attention to it. Mm. Maybe catching catching spots of it. I certainly don't be uh do you uh, take it away from here. It would not probably uh, without the metal present here. Something yeah. about property happening without parent here? Metal. Without metal. Oh. I don't know why I bothered asking you for clarification. If I couldn't <laughs> understand what you said out of character, I definitely couldn't understand what you said in character. Because <laughs> I would have been not paying attention closely. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Do I look around and see anything that looks like it might have been taken from an adventure or sticking out of the piles? Uh, you might seem like the, like, well, where was it? I have 120 feet of dark vision. Well, it's not that one where it's kind of the perception. Your path is pretty good, but only some, uh, anyways, just to see, uh, what else, like, you might be able to see. I can pretty much see the whole cave. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the point. <laughs> All right. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh. Let me see here. So I didn't have to worry about as much uh, dark vision length as so much as just line of sight. Yeah. Um, sixteen. 16, which is also your passive. Yes, a little <laughs> lower than my passive. Uh, Alright. Uh, then you'd see... With your keen eyes, the... It looks like maybe the uh, upper rim of a shield, uh, and perhaps the um, hilt of a blade, if you want to go investigate those further. I do. I would. Alright. Well, the shield turns out to be a shield. No way. <laughs> and the hilt is a hilt. Oh, no blade. Indeed. Does it appear to be broken off? Uh, it does look like there used to be uh, something there, but it doesn't look like it used to be uh, metal or like, you know, steel or uh, metal you're familiar with. This is an unusual hilt. Yeah. I'm gonna play with it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna investigate this hilt. It's, it's unusual hilt, you say? Yeah. With no blade in it that didn't used to be steel or anything? Interesting. I'm gonna poke at it. <laughs> Alright, hang on. I want, I'm gonna actually math out how long it takes me to do this sweep. Just to see if I have enough time when I come back to middle. Hmm. Uh, let's say, uh... I'm also very curious about this. That's a 12 investigation. A 12 investigation. Yeah, but I have dark vision, so if there's anything written on it or anything like that. Or any imagery uh, set into it, perhaps. Uh, or a button. There's no button. Oh the description is a work in progress on it. But there would be some... You kind of find carving and etching. Uh, and what looks to be writing in a language you don't understand. Whoa. True. I don't speak a lot of languages. I lied. I speak a lot of languages. I don't 
you want to rattle them off for me in case I'm mistaken, go for it. <laughs> Celestial, common, elvish, orcish, and undercommon. Nope, none of those. Okay. Hundred years, a lot of time to learn languages. I learned a bunch. Oh. And the shield seems somewhat interesting as well. Uh, not as fancy, but uh, seems to have had a bit more attention paid to it than your average shield. Hmm. Think I have a shield. I am a sheep. Oh, Alright. Well, if it looks like it'd be something stronger or perhaps even magical uh, as a shield goes, then I just, I just go, well, I don't need a lot of things, but uh, I suppose these are two things that I can carry, and one is very interesting, and the other one is nice. Oh. Since this uh, be here, I can no longer use it, and uh, I do not think that the offspring need it, I should take it. Perhaps I can get used to the life of an adventurer. Alright. No, sorry, were you able to math it out? I'm trying to decide how I should be doing it. <laughs> So, if you want, I can just roll a die. But math. Die is luck. Well, sure. I guess there is some degree of luck in it, too. Um, but hang on. Okay, so I can theoretically walk 30 feet in s six seconds? Yep. Okay. Um, end to end, this cave is about... Ow, please don't. Um, 240. Because it's a radius of 120, right? Oh, Is that the, was the diameter. Uh, yeah, that that was diameter? I thought it was radius. The, the diameter is about 190. No, I because I was thinking from um when you did your little bubble. My fucking cat, Jesus! Yeah. I'm trying to focus and she keeps anyway um so but yeah the diam i just measured from one end to the other and it was about 190. okay oh yeah you know what i remember doing that too anyway um so i can do one end to the other in we'll say approximately six rounds And then it'll be how many times do I have to do that? Um, I guess six times, right? It would be approximately six times. Yep. Like six six rounds to one end. And I have to and then cross six, it. Rounds, six rounds back. Yep. And I would have to do that six times because it's roughly a circle. You gonna yeah. pizza it. That, that this all makes sense to you guys, right? Yep. Six rounds. You're gonna cut cross it six times. So gonna, you can cross it three rounds. times to make an asterisk, and then approximately three more times, or uh, one and a half would arcs in there. So. Wait, wait, what? I'm, I'm only counting about five crossings. So five okay. sets of six. All right, so that's approximately 30 rounds. Yeah. Which is Time 180 seconds. seconds, which is three minutes. Yes, nice. okay. So we'll say I'm walking a little bit slower. It takes about half my time to do the full sweep. Um, maybe tack on an extra two minutes for looking a little closer at a couple of the things that we saw. So I have about three minutes left. Does that sound reasonable to everybody? 30 minutes? What? Five, you mean? 
I was saying the the whole sweep I maybe took about five minutes. Yeah. To just attack on. Oh. It just sounded like you said that you have thirty minutes left. I'm like the whole spell is only no, ten minutes. Three. <laughs> if I said thirty, I'm sorry, I meant three. Uh, I mean, you can have was, five. I know I could theoretically have five, but I'm just I'm I'm erring just on the side of error. taking more time doing right. the sweep and looking at things and stuff. You may have up to five minutes. However much you'd like of that to have is up to you. Come. Okay. So we have done our sweep. Aurelian and I have discussed slightly things. <laughs> we talked about the armor. We talked about the... What is the actual ore name? Corrupted. Adamantium? Adamantite? That's, I believe, what it's called. Adamantite. Okay, we discussed the adamantite. I saw the scrolls. I went, okay, I need to remember to come back to those. And then we wandered our way back to the middle, if that is good with Aurelian. <laughs> we didn't find any, like, anything interesting, uh, aside from the ore in the wall. Well, you found, you guys found the ore, uh, the armor, and the scrolls. I mean, if you want to climb up there with the eggs. I'm going to take my rope right tie up this armor so that it's easier to catch not catch drag <laughs> lift uh. all right uh, <laughs> as you do so you'll kind of notice it has interesting clasps on the back uh, as if it was as if the plates were to kind of be bent open as opposed to like being uh, slotted on over the head or, well, that's not on the head, but kind of, like, attached. It's, it looks like it's meant to open. I'll just leave it at that, because I'm too dumb for armor. <laughs> not actually armor. Chest. Not actually a chest. It's a mimic. Oh, sweet lord. That would be awful. <laughs> what would a mimic look like under Detect Magic, though? I don't think it uses magic to change its shape. Yeah. I think it has a supernatural ability to change, so it would look like nothing. Yeah. That was my thinking. So I am ruling out the possibility of it being a mimic. Um. What's the word? Only more. Preliminarily. Okay, and then I'm also I'm gonna come back here. Roland has the things, and I'm just like yeah, turning over cool. this hilt in my hand, looking at the the weird markings on it, and you can see that there's an extra shield. He's got a shield strapped across his back, and there's just an extra shield hanging by its strap from his the crook of his elbow as he's turning this uh, sword over, and he's just sort of idly chatting with Hesserin. Uh, and as is about seven, uh, I believe we can leave. Uh, any identification or leaving the cave for next week, as I expect this will take a fair bit longer. Yeah. A pause point. Let me know if you want more dragon names. I'll try and give you a little list that you can just choose from. Sure. Well, certainly wouldn't mind. I'm always terrible with coming up with names. Uh, with that, that is the end of today's session. I hope you guys have had fun. Yeah. Got to loot a loot place. Hmm.